So every year I try to take the Stack Overflow developer survey and every year I miss the deadline. But not this year. I like randomly check to see what the results were because they're usually out by this time of year. But for some reason they pushed the survey itself back and it, they literally just opened it up like last week. So we're gonna take it today and see what it's all about. The reason they do this survey is to probably just get a gauge on what the tech industry is like, like the demographics, you know, what technologies are trending up, which ones are dying out. So if you're watching this and the survey is still up, you guys should definitely take it. And the cool thing is they've been doing this for so many years now that they can spot trends again in like the technologies that are uh, picking up steam, the ones that are dying out. So it's a super useful survey and I'll link it down in the comments or you can just Google it, it should be pretty easy to find. But uh, yeah, let's get into it. All right, hello world, thank you for taking the 2021 Stack Overflow Developer Survey, the longest running survey of software developers on earth. So the results are anonymous, there are six sections, all right, blah, blah, blah. All right, let's, let's go, I wanna, I wanna get this thing moving here. All right, basic information. Which of the following best describes you today? By developer, we mean someone who writes code, okay. Uh, I am a developer by profession. Which of the following best describes your current employment status? I am employed full time, unless there's an option for YouTuber. Nope, keep going. Where do you live? United States of America. Oh, by the way, if you're wondering why this is all white, it's because I'm using uh, this Chrome extension called Dark Reader, which just makes everything dark mode, but it kind of screws up sometimes, but still totally worth it. In which state do you live in? Okay. Do they want my address as well? All right, California, education, work, and career. Which of the following best describes the highest level of formal education? That would be master's degree. At what age did you write your first line of code or program? It was, I believe when I was like exactly 25. How did you learn to code? So I used books. I never went to a boot camp. I took some online course. I don't know, would, would YouTube, I guess that would be is that considered an online course or that would, that would be other online resources and then school, of course, including education. How many years have you been coding in total? So I started in 2013. So that would be eight years, eight, not including education. How many years have you coded professionally? I think it's been like three and a half. So I don't know if I, should I would I round that up or down? Let's just do three. Which of the following best describes your current job? Uh, developer backend. Yeah. Approximately how many people are employed by the company or organization you currently work for? I have no idea. I think there's a, I think there's a ton. So I'm going to go with 10,000 or more. What currency do you use day by day? United States dollar. What is your total compensation? Should I share this? I don't know. I, I have a video where I break down how I spend my money monthly. So you guys can check that out if you really want to see. All right, Stack Overflow usage and community. Which of the following Stack Overflow sites have you visited? Uh, Stack Overflow for Teams. I didn't even know that was a thing. I've definitely used Stack Overflow. I, I believe I've used Stack Exchange. So yeah. How frequently would you say you visit Stack Overflow? Oh, I visit probably multiple times per day. If I'm writing code, it's gonna be multiple times a day, but I don't write code every day. So almost daily. Do you have a Stack Overflow account? I think I do. I like never am logged in when I use Stack Overflow, but I definitely do have an account. How frequently would you say you participate in the Q&A on Stack Overflow? So like ask, answer, vote, like hardly ever, honestly. I usually just check what I'm looking for. I've definitely asked some questions, so it's not never, but it's, yeah, less than once per month. Do you consider yourself a member of the Stack Overflow community? Eh, not really. Are you a member of any other online developer communities? No. I don't think so. Tech and tech culture. Which programming, scripting, or markup languages have you done extensive development work in over the past year or want to get into next year? Okay, there's a lot of stuff here. So let me just let me just try and jet through this here. APL, I've never heard of that. Assembly, definitely not. So it's gonna be C sharp. Dart, I definitely want to get into. If you don't know Dart, uh, it's what they use with Flutter. Java, oh, obviously. JavaScript, I wanna get more into. And Python, I definitely want to get more into. Uh, Rust would be cool as well. And then I use SQL, obviously. I definitely want to use SQL. Uh, Swift, no. TypeScript, no. VBA, no. I think that's good. Which database environments have you done extensive de development work in? Honestly, the only thing I really use is Microsoft SQL Server. Uh, what do I want to get into next year? Uh, 
DynamoDB would be cool. That's an AWS NoSQL database. Firebase, because that's what all the cool kids are using now. Uh, Mongo would be cool. Uh, that's about it. Honestly, once you've used one of them, you kind of use them all. And definitely not Oracle. I used that at my last job and yeah, it's a pain in the neck. Which cloud platforms have you done extensive development work in? Uh, really only just Azure this year. Next year, I would like to continue and want to get into AWS some more. Which web frameworks and library have you done extensive development work in? .NET Core. Honestly, I think that's it. <laughs> uh, I do want to get into Vue some more. That's I was getting really good at it my last job, but I haven't used it in almost two years now. And Spring would also be cool just because I use Java a lot. What other frameworks or libraries? Well, .NET Core, I already said I've worked with that one. Flutter, again, like I mentioned with Dart, that would be really cool. I'm surprised they don't have React. Oh, they do have React Native. Yeah, that would be. Uh, do I really? I, I kind of prefer Flutter. I don't know. Well, maybe we'll, we'll check it. Other than that, I haven't even heard of some of these. No, I, I've actually heard of most, <laughs> most of them. Yeah, other than that, I think, I think I'm good. Uh, which tools have you used? Uh, Git. And that's about it. What do I want to get into? Unity? Probably not, but that would be cool if I do have time. And Docker. Uh, which development environments do you use regularly? I use IntelliJ. I use Notepad++. And I use Visual Studio and Visual Studio Code. And that's about it. I don't. I used to use Xcode a lot when I was on my Mac, but not anymore. And other than that, uh, Vim. Actually, yeah, I use Vim some from time to time. What's the best primary operating system? So I've pretty much worked with all of these, but I currently, I really only work with Windows because that's what I use at work and my personal computer is uh, Windows. What do you do when you get stuck on a problem? Select all that apply. Visit Stack Overflow, call a coworker or friend. Yeah, I do all of these. I do pretty much, yeah, panic for sure. That should be the first one actually. Do other work and come back later, Google it. Yeah. That's a, all they should just have all the above there. All right. Demographics. All right, we are actually, we're almost, oh, we're flying through this thing. All right. Uh, what's your age? 25 to 34. Uh, which of the following describes you? Um, I am a man in case you were wondering. Which of the following describes you? If any, please check all that apply. I'm Middle Eastern. However, when applying to jobs, Middle Eastern is too much of a minority to be considered a minority. So we have to put white, which puts us at a disadvantage. Which of the following describes you? Uh, none of the above. Okay, which of the following describe you? Uh, pretty much none of these. Although I do get depressed when I work in some certain technologies, but yeah, none of the above. All right, final question. We're almost done. Wow, this is it's actually pretty short. How do you feel about the length of the survey? Yeah, I thought it was a little, could be longer. How easy or difficult was it? Uh, it was pretty easy. Finish and submit responses. Boom, there you go. There you go, there you have it. Uh, yeah, that was not not bad at all. We were able to get through that in, I don't know how long it was. But yeah, if you guys, uh, again, if you want to take the survey, I will leave a link down below. I don't know how long it's going to be open. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully you thought this was fun. I, you know, it was kind of interesting. And I'll definitely be on the lookout for when they do release the results. Maybe, maybe we'll make a video going over the results as well. But yeah, other than that, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to like the video. Um, if you want to join the Discord channel, it's completely free. I'll leave a link down to that in the description as well. But other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. Keep on coding.